The East Lancashire NHS Trust serves a population of 530,000 people. In the last 10 years we've made a big impact in cardiovascular mortality and morbidity within this area. The 30-day post-MI mortality was achieved very quickly within the first 12 months of the new services. This was mainly down to a 24-7 cardiology-led coronary care unit and people getting their appropriate medications and interventions in a timely manner. The impact of the last 10 years has been down to a number of developments. This includes a 24-7 on-call service by a cardiologist, a 24-7 coronary care unit led by cardiologists, development of a percutaneous intervention service, development of pacing services, and of imaging services. We carry out a lot of different types of research um, here in the cardiology departments, both general cardiology, looking at patients with cardiac arrhythmias, patients with heart failure, and different ways in which these patients can be managed. Uh, my personal interest and, and that of the majority of my colleagues is in interventional cardiology. Development on-site interventional services in the East Lanks began in 2010. It was an area that's previously been quite neglected and it's allowed us to transform the patient's care cutting edge procedures we do currently would include high risk procedures such as rotablation. We also do uh, complex CTO procedures which are chronic total occlusion procedures. Approximately four years ago we were invited to participate in a um, multi-centre um, novel study looking at different pharmacological treatments for patients receiving coronary stents. We were required to recruit 100 patients and we eventually recruited 250 patients in two years. We were the first UK centre to start recruitment, which has encouraged people to come back to us and test um, other stents. The department is keen on publishing and research, and we've published two main papers over the last few years. Um, the first showed how outcomes could be improved through the reconfiguration of services within a trust. The second showed how outcomes in patients receiving angioplasty in sites without an on-site surgeon are comparable those receiving care in a tertiary centre. The, the new cardiology service started about 10 years ago with the appointment of three new consultants and they were, one of the focus was to develop the pacing service. We implant single chamber pacemakers, dual chamber pacemakers and more complex devices called biventricular pacemakers because it's also called cardiac resynchronization therapy. This sort of device, which is a complex procedure, is, is implanted in patients with advanced heart failure in whom medical therapy proves insufficient. It involves implantation of three leads into the heart, one into the right atrium, the second into the right ventricle, and third, which is the most important, to pace the left side of the heart by passing a lead into the coronary sinus. We have done about 175 of these procedures in the last three to four years and had ex excellent outcomes. I had my biventricular pacemaker fitted. It was June last year. It's worked so well for me. I found I can move about a lot more, I'm not tired, I'm not short of breath, I can walk for a long time, exercise is brilliant as well. I have a home monitoring which is all through the Wi-Fi and basically I don't need to come to clinic, it's all done at home. The girls here, they just download everything. At Royal Blackburn Hospital here, the service has been so wonderful, they've taken so much care of me, they've looked after me from the start to the finish. One of our major future plans is to develop a local ICD service which essentially is implantation of internal defibrillators. The procedure itself is exactly the same as implanting a pacemaker, but the device itself has the added benefit of detecting and treating uh, dangerous, potentially life-threatening changes in the heart rhythm. So there's a wide variety of outpatient services that we offer here at the East Lanks NHS Trust. We're able to offer some advanced non-invasive cardiac imaging services as well. So we perform cardiac CT here and cardiac MRI. And being one of the few, if not the only, district general within the, this sort of Greater Manchester or Lancashire region to be able to perform cardiac MRI scans. So we have a 1.5 Tesla MRI scanner used for all purposes, but we, have, we perform four to five cardiac scans uh, on that MR scanner per week and we're able to readily identify those people with structural heart defects or those people with bad heart failure, which helps uh, risk stratify their management when we see them in the clinics. We perform around 2,000 treadmill tests per year here. Uh, we're able to perform treadmill tests here and cheaply and correctly identify those patients that require further investigation and those that do not. We perform around three to 400 dobutamine stress echocardiograms per year here at the East Langs NHS Trust, which very much follows the guidance set by the National Institute of Clinical Excellence. Uh, and we generally reserve that test uh, for those patients who we feel are in the moderate or high risk categories uh, of chest pains. I uh, had a heart attack on the 9th of December. Uh, 
brought into hospital by the ambulance, had eight or, heart, eight heart attacks in a very short period. I had 50 then over a two week period. The staff at uh, Blackburn CCU were absolutely fantastic. Uh, they saved my life. Uh, the wall worked very, very hard over a few weeks, basically four. They uh, stood by me, they stood by my family. Uh, they fed them information where they needed to, uh, but more importantly, they kept me alive. The cardiology services at East Lancashire Hospital is a modern comprehensive department. We provide a very busy outpatient service. The inpatient work comprises of a 24-7 on-call commitment by the cardiologist. We have invasive services with percutaneous interventions to coronary arteries and the implantation of pacemakers. We also have a full array of imaging technologies including echocardiography, CT angiography and cardiac MRI.